Hey, engineer, can you hook me up with a little bit of a girl from Impanema there? As you can see, here's Templeton here. What do you want, Templeton? What is it? You see, I knew he was going to do this. What is it, Templeton? Uh, why are you crying? Why are you crying? You see what I'm saying, folks? Look at this dog. You're a spoiled little boy. Why are you crying? Oh, my God. Do you hear this? Templeton, why are you crying? Templeton, why are you crying? Oh, my God. This is this is sad. Listen, I'll be right back, folks, okay? Can, hey, hey, Templeton, calm down, Templeton. See, you see what happens when you spoil your dog? You hear this? It's like a petulant child here. Are you kidding me, Templeton? Why are you doing that? Oh, my God. This is embarrassing. You know, you're embarrassing me, Templeton. Templeton. Uh, Templeton. You're embarrassing me. Stop it. Oh, my God. I got to go. I, I, I'll be right back, folks. All right? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, calm down, Templeton. Good guy. See what I got to deal with here, folks? See what I got to deal with? I got to do a three-hour-a-day show. I got to do a three-hour-a-day show. I mean, do you hear this? Do you hear this? What the hell is that? Is a full moon out? What the hell is this? Templeton, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you... Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute, Temple Templeton, you can't crap there! Stop, Templeton, no! Don't... Jesus Christ, you can't crap there! I don't... I... That's... That's white carpet! I don't own that! Where are you going, Templeton? I don't own that! Why did you take a crap there? Why did you take a crap? God damn it! Jesus! <laughs> I don't own that, Templeton. I don't own that. Why would you take a crap there? I, I don't own that. I don't own that. Oh, my God. Give me a moment. Are you kidding me? I, oh, God damn it. I, I don't own this. Oh, my God. I got... Uh... I'll be right back, folks. Uh, take me off, engineer, for Christ's sake. This goddamn dog took a crap. I don't own this. I don't own that, for Christ's sake. Good God. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was a, there's dead air going on here. Sorry, folks. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I know. I'm, I, I'm, I'm just so pissed off right now. Uh, I, I, I forgot to, you know, uh, release the mic. I just... Uh, Man, folks, listen, I don't own this damn carpet that Templeton just took a crap on, all right? I don't own that. I don't own this crap. I live in a home, folks, that's very, very expensive. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a rental, of course, because I'm, you know, renting out my place out there in Austin. I don't own this white carpet, man. I mean, there's a freaking crap stain on this white carpet. God damn it, Templeton. God damn it. I don't own that. I don't own that. Anyway, folks, my apologies for the dead air here. And uh, I just, I don't know if I could do this broadcast, man. This is on my mind here. I mean, what, what can I do here? I mean, I, I mean, there's a freaking shit stain and a freaking white carpet, man. I don't own this. I don't own that. Oh my God! Listen, I don't know what to do. It's white carpet. I'm thinking maybe, maybe, maybe I should get some freaking bleach or something. Let me get some bleach. You know, I mean that, that it's white, right? I mean you bleach it, you know, bleach white, right? Let me go ahead and get some bleach here. All right, I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. I'm having to do this improv too. I'm a little concerned here because I may be on the hook for a goddamn whole goddamn uh, setup for a white carpet, man. And this is this is awesome carpet, man. I know it's going to cost me a fortune because my freaking dog took a crap. My dog took a crap on it. Anyway, listen. I'm going to put some bleach on it. I'm going to see if it does something. I mean, hopefully it does. I don't know. Anyway, folks, I'm sorry. I, I listen. I know I'm seem like I. 
I'm a little flustered here. I don't own this carpet, man. I don't own this carpet. Anyway, folks, my apologies here. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna continue going. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some bleach on it, and hopefully, it, it does something. All right. Anyway, folks, listen. I don't even want to do. I don't want to do this broadcast anymore. So let's just go ahead and get to everybody's favorite part of the broadcast. And I'm talking about radio graffiti. Listen, I'm not even hype about it. I'm looking at a shit stain on a floor that I don't freaking own. I mean, excuse my French. I don't own this. I don't own I mean, what do I, I would have to get a freaking Stanley steamer in here, for Christ's sake? How much does that cost? Jesus Christ, man. How much does Stanley steamer cost, for Christ's sake, man? Good God. Man, that's another thing i got to worry about now. That's just great. Thanks, Templeton. I appreciate it, pal. All right? Hey, look at him. I, fa- I gave him a treat, and he's all good. Look at him. Look at this guy. Get out of here. Get out. Anyway, folks, without any further ado, uh, let's get everybody's favorite part of the broadcast, and I'm talking about radio graffiti, all right? And for all you folks that are unaware... All right, uh, radio graffiti is that part of the broadcast where the spectators become a part of the spectacle. All you've got to do is give me a call right now, all right, at uh, 563-999-3791, and when I call on your area code, you've got exactly three to four seconds to say whatever it is that's on your mind. That's why we call this radio graffiti. And let me tell you, I may be a little distant here uh, on Radio Graffiti, folks, because, I mean, I, I'm going to be putting bleach on this thing. I'm going to try to do whatever I can. You know, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I really, I really don't know. I mean, maybe I should cut it out, you know, and, and maybe, like, have one of these, like, carpet replacer things or something. They can kind of sew it back in. I don't know what the hell to do. But I, I tell you this, uh, the, the man that owns his home, which is a good friend of mine, and, you know, he's, uh, you know, I'm renting it from him. I don't want him to see this. I can tell you that right now. I, that's the last thing I want. That's the last thing I want. Anyway, engineer, we have any goddamn uh, radio graffiti calls here? All right. Well, let's go ahead and get to radio graffiti right now. <laughs> All right. Who do we got here? How about anonymous radio graffiti? Are, are you kidding? You shut up! You got good boy for taking a crap. <laughs> Shove it up your ass! What are you talking? He just took a crap. He took the crap on a freaking carpet. I don't own. Oh my! He just took a crap on my carpet. I I don't own that. Oh look! Look at some asshole tweeting a uh, 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 shitty carpet. Look at this. So get out of here. Get out. Give me the mic. Look at this. Somebody just tweeted a freaking white carpet with dog turds on it. All right, and it says an early Christmas gift from Templeton with love for you, ghost. Yeah, thanks a lot, asshole, all right? Good God, man. And let me tell you, I think it's my fault that Templeton took a crap because, uh, you know, uh, I've been eating T-bones as of late, and what I do is just give him the T-bone. You know, and sometimes, you know, I'll have two of them a day, so I'll give him two T-bones, and, you know, he'll be gnawing on them, and he literally, he, he just gnaws on them to the point where it's like a little nub, like a little bitty-ass nub, for Christ's sake. So maybe, maybe it's my fault. All right, maybe it's my fault. Anyway, folks, let's continue going. How about anonymous radio graffiti? Oh, what luck. There's a French fry stuck in my penis. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. There you go. Uh, shut up, you sick pervert. Shut up. Anonymous radio graffiti. A number six from extra tip. A number seven. Two number 45s. One with cheese. Two number nine. Oh, wait, wait, what, what, what the hell do I look like? Do I look like a freaking drive through asshole? Shove a cheeseburger up your shit funnel. I'm not a damn drive through boy. Anonymous radio graffiti. 
Templeton Sanders, Radio Graffiti. Thank you very much. This sounds like a shucky ducky kind of crowd. Let me get my freaking gun. Let me get my On freaking gun out here for Christ's sake. Kind of day. Jesus Christ. Here to support. Uh oh. You shut that crap off, man. I never said that crap. Shut up. Trying to make me sound racist or something, for Christ's sake, man. I'm a melting pot of friendship, for Christ's sake. Don't you understand that? I'm a nice guy. How about anonymous radio graffiti? We, the capitalist army, say enough is enough. Donald J. Trump is president-elect, and it's about time we ask him to add one more favor. Hi, my name is Aid Equal, and I am calling for the deportation of all bronies in the United States of America. I am Communist G, and I am here to say banning all bronies is A-OK -okay in the book of Donald J. Trump, and I am here to support it. My name is Metroid Junkie, and I am calling for the deportation of all bronies. My name is Chicago for Ghosts, and I call for the deportation of bronies. I'm Tub Guy, and I support Trump catapulting all the bronies over the wall. Oh my. Hello, I am Moon Man, and I am calling for the deportation of all bronies to make TCR great again. My name is Ration Orion, and these bronies need to stop taking the jobs of hardworking trolls and get the fuck out of this country. My name is Laster Mickey. American, and I want them bonus out of my country. I'm Donald Trump. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I, I approve, approve this message. message. Yeah. Had this place not been sabotaged by the bronies, this call would have went out perfectly without any problems. Back to you, ghost. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. They're calling out the bronies. They're calling out the damn brony, for Christ's sake, man. Oh, oh. I'm telling you, man, I don't know. How, that, that was some fighting words there. I don't know what the hell that was about there. How about 832 Radio Graffiti? Hey, Templeton, do you think uh, maybe next time you can sit on my chest? I think it's pretty hard. I get a big boner. <laughs> Uh, just shut this stupid frog up for Christ! You sick perverted frog! I'm sick of you! You sick perverted goddamn frog! Why don't you go pork Miss Piggy, you fruit bowl? Good God, man! Give me the freaking mic! Give me the mic! Give me the freaking mic, man! You see, let me tell you, I'm not in the mood for this right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. All right, I'm looking at a. Freaking crap stain on the goddamn carpet that I don't own. I'm serious. People are telling me not to put bleach on it, but man, I mean, it's white. It's white on white, right? Give me a break, right? I mean, it should take it out. It should be no problem. So I look at it. I'm gonna put it here in a second. Anyway, who else we got here? How about anonymous radio graffiti? Jesus Christ. Oh, Uh, I don't know what the hell that was about. You just kind of clicked off, for Christ's sake. How about uh, how about seven one four radio graffiti? Hey, ghost. I just wanted to say, maybe if you didn't treat your dog when it shit on the carpet, it wouldn't keep shitting on the carpet. You know. Well, what'd you say? If I didn't do what? If you didn't treat the dog when he shit on the carpet, he wouldn't learn to shit on the carpet. He feels like he's being rewarded for taking a shit on your carpet. Yeah, I don't think so, for Christ's sake. All right, he saw me. He he clearly saw me upset. All right, and that's why he went away. And you know, I just I just gave him a freaking treat and shut his ass up. All right, all right you know, what I mean, I, I got to do a show here for three hours. All right, I'm telling you, the dog he wants to be like all up on me, for Christ's sake. You know what I'm saying? Like a, like a, like a dog wants to be. You know what I mean? He's like he's, a, he's my pal. All right, I mean, you know, so I mean. I got to keep him occupied for three hours while I'm sitting over here doing this broadcast. Anonymous radio graffiti. Number meeting. six with extra dip. A number seven, two number forty-five. Hey, 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 brother from another mother. I'm not a goddamn chicken shack. All right, brother, stop asking me for your order. All right. How about anonymous radio graffiti? Oh, oh, oh. it's Santa Claus. You want to come sit on my bag of holly? <laughs> oh my God, man! You guys are getting sick, man. Stop it already!
already, man. You're getting too perverted. It's a week before Christmas. All right, it's a week before Christmas, for Christ's sake. What do you want, a lump of coal up your ass? How about 727 Radio Graffiti? Won't you suck my candy cane? <laughs> hey, what, what, is this Santa Claus again? What the hell is this? A perverted Santa Claus? Is that the new goddamn troll? No, no, no. No perverted goddamn Santa Claus, all right? How about anonymous radio graffiti? Christ, man. Give me the, give me the mic. Freaking Mike, for Christ's sake, man. We are now in 2016, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to announce my wife he is Amy Daly, the trans testicle porn star. I mean, look, to be honest with you, my wife, Amy, is a good piece of ass. Dude, I'm thinking people are like, man, I want I want one of these trans testicle porn star wives. Maybe I'm saying I'm, I'm not I'm not joking around. Well, well, wait a minute. Come on, man. Don't even go there. Don't even, why are you even going there, for Christ's sake? Look, I'm too, I'm too upset about this crap on the floor over here for me to get pissed off. I, I need some advice, folks. I'm going to call somebody about this, because I don't, I, don't, I, don't I don't know what the hell this is about here. All right? I don't know if I'm going to need to put bleach or, or what I'm going to do. All right? I, I'm a little concerned. All right? I'm a little goddamn concerned, to say the least. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to call somebody really fast, see if I can get some kind of goddamn consultation, because I'm a little... I'm a little upset about this. I'm not joking around, folks. I'm, I don't want to pay for this goddamn carpet, all right? I'm not paying for this carpet, all right? I'm going to do whatever it takes not to pay for this goddamn carpet. That's all there is to it, all right? Uh, hey, engineer, uh, why don't you get Stanley Steamer on the phone? Can you get Stanley Steamer going on? Yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can contact Stanley Steamer going on over here. Yeah, you you put it on on. All right, I think we got. Thank it you here. for calling Stanley Steamer. Please enter the five-digit zip code for the location you would like serviced. Oh Jesus Christ! I don't freaking know. Freak! I don't know. I don't know. Please enter the five-digit zip code for the location you I would like serviced. I want to talk Can I talk Please to enter the five-digit zip code for the location you would like service. I somebody! I got crap on my carpet! I want to talk to a human being, for Christ's sake! Get me in contact Thank with Thank you for a calling being. Stanley Steamer. This call may be recorded for quality purposes. All this right, is Brittany. Great. How may thank I help you. you today? Hey, thank you, ma'am. I, I would like to know if I have a very, very uh, disturbing situation. My dog was sick. On my carpet, it's a very expensive white carpet, and I just want to like what kind of a estimation that this would cost me if I got Stanley Steamer to come out here and do something. I mean, or can you guys do something? Yeah, definitely. Um, let me get your zip code. Uh, uh, uh seven eight two four nine. Okay, let me see. Now, what areas did your dog have the accidents in? Uh, he had it in the uh, living room, which is a considerable piece of the carpet. So I'm trying to prevent from actually, you know, uh, paying for a brand new carpet. I mean, it's not even mine. I'm in, I'm in a rental home here, so it's it's even more of a precarious situation to say the least. Okay, so it's just living room area, correct? Yes, uh, but I guess if you do steam the carpet, it'll kind of offset if the other carpets like aren't necessarily done per se. So it would like you know maybe one uh, uh, one part of the uh, house would probably be lighter than the others if I just do one room, or or is that not applicable? Correct. So with the um, the living room, is that connected to the to um, the dining room or any hallways? No, it's 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 its own uh, physical entity, and the dining room it's its own physical entity, and the kitchen, so on and so forth. Okay, so honestly, I would just have them come do the living room, um, and they can do a spot treatment, um, just because I understand I have two puppies, and I they are still having accidents. So what I would oh, recommend man. is having them come in, do the steam clean, uh, hot water extraction, and then I would um, add a deodorizer on there, so that will help with the smell. That will kill any of um, that bad smell to it, that odor. So okay, uh, can, you give me a, can you give me a ballpark figure? 
on like how much that all that would cost? Yes, I have a total of one seventeen ninety nine even, or with, and that is with tax. Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? Get this broader. Get out of here! Are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to pay one hundred seventeen. God damn it! God damn it! Now! Oh, damn it! I'm gonna have to pay one hundred seventeen bucks for a goddamn shit stay Good God! Oh my God! $117? Are you kidding? For a shit stain? For a damn crap? Oh, God, God, good God. $117? I mean, give me the money. Are you, are you kidding me? Oh, my God, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, man, you know what, man? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry if I sound a little jaded and a little concerned here. But, folks, I I, I don't like just burning money. You know, I don't like, like, just, you know, burning money, for Christ's sake, man. A hundred seventeen, and you know what they're going to do? I'll tell you what they're going to do. They're going to come over here, and they're they're going to they're going to go, and they're going to they're going to do the freaking living room for Christ's sake. And it's not going to look the same as the dining room. It's not going to look the same as the hallway. It's not going to look the same as the bedrooms. I mean, it's going to look completely different. And then they're going to they're going to freaking do like a, 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 they're going to be like, well, sir, you know what you have to do so that you can make all the other carpets look uh, as white as this one. Uh, we'll go ahead and give you another uh, one hundred and fifty dollars. And let me tell you, traditionally it's like three rooms, so that be like 300 but since you already uh, uh, did a spot treatment check, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, give you the other rooms for another $150. $300 I'm going to be freaking charged for this crap. You know what? I'm, 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 I'm getting OxyClean or some crap. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just, God damn it. Jesus Christ, and these idiots on Twitter are like, what, you can't afford 117 It's not about that, asshole. $117 because my dog took a crap. That's what pisses me off. All right? My dog took a crap, and there's a, there goes 117 bucks. My dog took a crap, and there goes $117 down the tubes, man. Uh, Jesus Christ, man. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. I'm not joking around, man. Uh, uh, just give me the mic. $117, man. Are you joking for a freaking poop stain? I mean, I thought you were going to say something like a 50 bucker or something. You know what I mean? I mean, I figure, hey, you guys going to come in here, you know, yeah, you know, spray the the stain. You might you might freaking do a little once over on the carpet or something. Fifty bucks, maybe an hour's work tops. All right, you know, hours work, right? A hundred and seven. Oh, Jesus Christ, man! Oh my God, uh, Templeton, thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot, Templeton. Look at him, he's over there. He's asleep now. His guts filled. He doesn't give a crap. Good. God, man, what a, what a, where's Billy Mays when you need him, for Christ's sake, man, where's, Billy Mays, where are you, man, <sighs> Jesus Christ, anyway, listen, folks, I'm sorry, I had to do that, folks, I'm a little concerned, and I don't live in 78249, by the way, I just, uh, it's just a random area code out here in San Hambonio, all right, as a matter of fact, that's actually, uh, from what I understand, if I'm not mistaken, it's over there by, like, a far, shitty northwest side, like, by uh, Ingram Park Mall, which sucks. All right, let me tell you something right now. As a matter of fact, that's where I got approached. Uh, that's where I got approached by a freaking Mexican kid that was barefoot trying to sell me candy apples on the street corner. All right, I'm, I'm just saying. Ugh. Anyway, folks, people are saying, uh, uh, use vinegar. Oh, I'm not, I might use vinegar, I mean, but I don't have vinegar. And not to mention, you remember when chicks used to have vinegar in their, like, bathroom? What the hell was that about? Can somebody explain that to me? Remember that? I, my, my, my mom used to have uh, vinegar in her goddamn bathroom. What the hell was that? Y'all making a salad in there? What the hell is that about? 
but vinegar. Somebody's somebody's saying also use vodka. Uh, somebody's also suggesting that I use the club soda salt thing. I think I'm going to do that, but I don't have club soda. I think club soda tastes like caca. Uh, for you know, if I could use the vernacular of the uh, Hispandex brethren uh, that I'm currently residing in their city, uh, it, it, it 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 tastes like caca. So I don't have uh, any kind of goddamn uh, club soda. Anyway, somebody's telling me to use butter. Yeah, shut up, all right? It's not the butter, asshole, all right? Anyway, folks, let me continue going. My apologies for t- taking that call there. I just I needed a ballpark figure of what I'm going to spend here. $117. you got to be joking, man. I mean, listen, I can afford $117, obviously, but just think about it. You can't be like that. You can't be like, eh, it's only $117. It, it's $117 crap. I might as well save the crap and, like, literally sell it, uh, like, on the Internet because it, I, I, because I just paid, or if I do pay, a Stanley Steamer to come in here, 117 bucks. that's $117 crap. Have you ever paid for a crap that's $117? I don't think so. So for all you people that are out there on the Internet, oh, you can't, you can't do it? You can't just, like, you know, pay? I, do you understand? Do you understand me? My dog took a crap, and now I'm out 117 bucks. I mean, that's just that. I don't care how rich you are. That's just not right, man. It's not right. Oh my God. Amy Daly just told me that they used to douche with vinegar. Are you kidding me? They used to douche with vinegar. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my God! What what a freaking day today! What a day! What a day! Oh, good God! What a day! I mean, ugh. I had no clue, folks, that that's why women had freaking vinegar in their goddamn bathrooms. I had no idea. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not asking those women questions about that. I just see vinegar there, and I'm like, what are, you, what are y'all doing? Y'all making a salad? What's going on, for Christ's sake? Man, good God. Give me the mic. Give me the goddamn mic. Anyway, somebody, somebody, hey, I, thank you very much, Jerry Garcia. He's hooking me up. He's uh, suggesting some wool white pet oxygen. Where the hell do you get that stuff? Do I have to go to a shitty Walmart to get that? Is that what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to walk into a Walmart. I really don't want to do that, folks. All right, I haven't been to a Walmart in like 10 years. I don't want to go to a Walmart. All right. I'm not, I don't want to go to a freaking Walmart. Jesus Christ, folks. Anyway, let's get back to radio graffiti, all right? Uh, and look, there's some idiot saying that he'll buy the freaking Templeton crap for twice the amount of my autograph. You guys are some sick pricks. I'm telling you, you guys are sick pricks. Anyway, I, look, we got 15 minutes left. Let's go... F- I mean, what a day, man. Uh, my dog takes a crap on a carpet that I don't own. All right? I got, obviously, troll terrorists and cyber burn just badgering me over here. And then I learned today that women used to douche with vinegar. Uh, I mean, what was oral copulation between male and females during that? I, I, you know, I don't know. I'm sorry, folks. I'm, I just got a lot of my plate here. I got a lot of my head here. Anonymous, radio graffiti. I go some furry, and I'll go lick the poop off the floor for free. <laughs> yeah, uh, you you sound like you've got a teeth problem just by the way you're talking. For Christ's sake, it sounds like the roof of your mouth is a little bit too big for your freaking tongue, boy. Jesus Christ, man! How about uh, three five two radio graffiti? Fun yet classy, and cute as can be the man from Canada to Ghost Trotting. In. When she passes, each one she passes goes ah. When she trots, there's not a fault And like spring, she's cool and floats so mellow That when she passes, each one she passes goes I mean, what is that? Is that supposed to be some, like, foul version of that song? Is that supposed to be a foul version of the girl from Impanema? Jesus Christ, man. And let me tell you, uh, 
the girl from Impanema is getting themselves a pretty good boost in uh, popularity because of this broadcast, for Christ's sake. How about anonymous radio graffiti? Yeah, that's I mean, who would write such a song? Who would write such a song for heaven's sake? Two six seven radio graffiti. Hello, ghost. It's Eeyore again. I heard Templeton shat on your carpet. Kind of reminds me of the time Pooh Bear lived up to his name and took a Cleveland steamer on my back. He told me to drink some bleach to get rid of the stain, and it worked. I suppose if you drink some bleach, Templeton's stain will come off, too. Here, drink up. Yeah, sh- just shut up, you stupid duff. <laughs> Freaking Eeyore, for Christ's sake! Shut up your ass! I got frogs, I got donkeys, I got furries, I got bronies! I got all kinds of sick characters calling up my goddamn show! Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Give me the freaking... Man, I'm I'm glad this is about to end. I got ten minutes left. I'm glad. Well, I mean, this is... I I mean, how else can you explain this other than it being a carpet-munching goddamn Monday? Carpet-munching Monday. 813 Radio Graffiti. Well, uh, man, that's uh, well, uh, somebody taking a crap. I mean, what kind of crap are you guys pulling here? Ah, oh, good lord, man. Oh my god, how about? I don't even know who to call on anymore, man. This is such a freak show, circus sideshow, funny farm edition of the broadcast. I don't even know what to do anymore. Jesus Christ, anonymous radio graffiti. Templeton Sanders radio graffiti. You know what I'm going to take? Uh, you want to you wanna know what I'll take? I'll show you what I'm going to take. I'm going to take this right here, boy. Right here.
you know, give, give me the mic. Give me the mic. Let me tell you something. I don't really appreciate that you people take glee in the fact that bad things happen to me. You know that? I don't, I don't really appreciate that. I know that you people get off on the fact that bad things happen to me. A lot of you people wish bad things bad happen to me. All of you want me dead for crying. I mean, give me a break, man. I mean, why do I do this broadcast for three hours if you all don't give two rats asses, huh? Why do I even do this broadcast, for heaven's sake? Jesus Christ, man. Anonymous radio graffiti. A number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven. Hey, 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 get this idiot out of here for Christ's sake. This ain't chicken chicken, boy. Jesus Christ. Anonymous radio graffiti. Shut up, shut up. Just shut up with that crap. Good God, man. I mean, you guys are getting ridiculous here. Hey, we got Karaskin on the horn. What's going on, Karaskin? Radio Graffiti. Hey, I'm hosting a strip poker game with Top Guy, and we are looking for the third person to join. You want to join in? Wait, 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 what? 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 Wait, whoa, whoa! Oh! 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 Wait a minute! Hey, Karaskin, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What you think about 10 steps away from my freaking butt crack with that talk? Whoa! Oh! 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 Oh, man, Karaskin, not you, man, not you. Oh, man, LGBT got to freaking Karaskin, man. Oh, my God. Karaskin, no, man. I, uh, anonymous oh, radio God. graffiti. One with G, two number nine. Number look, nine. shut this guy up, man. Shut up with that crap. I, look, this isn't freaking chicken chicken. All right, this ain't KFC. This ain't Mickey D's. All right, shove it up your ass. How about 210 Radio Graffiti? Cotton is down. Get to myself. Get to myself. Stop that. Get it straight to my face. I'll take your ass to the woodshed. <laughs> man, that's not funny, man. You see, I, we, we, I, y'all are getting racist here, and there's nothing racial about my show, all right? I'm a melting pot of friendship. I happen to have a whole bunch of friends that happen to be black, all right? I happen to have a whole bunch of friends that happen to be Hispandex. I happen to have a whole bunch of friends that happen to be WAP, Kraut, Muck Shovel and Mick, Camel Jockey, Limey, Frog, Kangaroo Banger, Oriental. I mean, I got them from all over the place. I happen to have a whole bunch of friends that happen to be a whole bunch of nationalities because I'm a melting pot of friendship. I'm a melting pot of friendship, boy. I don't know why you all keep, you know, throwing these false indictments at me. How about 614 Radio Graffiti? All right, man, load your weapon. Yo, what the hell is that? Let me get my freaking gun. Let me get my freaking gun out of here, for Christ's sake. Oh, shit. Rasta, get away, I'm armed. <laughs> Your life is mine. Your filthy, dirty children are mine. Everything is mine. I am George Soros, and your internet is mine. Your mother's coochie is mine. That's right. And I will make sure you are your George Soros. And I will make sure that I will show you all through power. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know what? That you know. <laughs> you know what? That's it. That's it. Stick a goddamn fork in me. I'm done. I'm done with this carpet munching Monday. I'm done with it, man. I mean, what kind of a circus sideshow day was this? For Christ's sake, my dog takes a crap. 
I gotta pay $117 for this dog turd, all right? I hear that freaking woman, women douche with vinegar. I'm like, oh, give me the mic, man. Give me the mic. Uh, you know, I'm done with today. I'm sorry, folks. I'm so done with today. So without any further ado, let's just get to some Twitter shout-outs. And for you folks that are unaware, uh, I will give you a Twitter shout-out live right here on the broadcast. If you retweet the tweet on my Twitter account that states, True Capitalist Radio Live. That's right, folks. True Capitalist Radio Live is the tweet to retweet. If you want a Twitter shout-out live right here on the broadcast right here and now. Uh, do we have any Twitter shout-outs to be had, Engineer? All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and get to some Twitter shout outs. All right, and once again, folks, uh, retweet the tweet that states True Capitalist Radio Live. All right, let's get to some Twitter shout outs right now. <laughs> we got mining more liberal salt. Yeah, no kidding. We got. Um, Ghost gets back to work. What the hell are you talking about, Ghost gets back to work, baby? What are you talking about? A horny unicorn. Oh, Jesus Christ. The the, the lost brony. Good God, for Christ's sake. Uh, uh, Russians cold turkey. Oh, jeez. Already? Already? Already. Russians cold turkey. Oh, jeez. That's screwed up, man. I'm telling you, you, you guys are screwed up, all right? Hey, we got the TCR Steam Chat in the house. What's going on, man? Who else do we have here? We got Sir No, whatever the hell that means. We got Bowling in Berlin. Ah, oh, you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I mean, that's another thing I got to cover in the second hour, man. What The, the Berlin uh, Christmas markets, you don't hear about that? Oh, my God, the religion of peace strikes again, man. I mean, good God. Cultural enrichment, huh? But, of course, Angela Merkel probably doesn't feel like she has any blood on her hands as it pertains to this situation, huh? Huh? These liberal leftists, they never take any kind of personal responsibility for a goddamn thing they do, even if it costs people their lives. Typical liberal, for Christ's sake. Give me the mic. Give me the mic. Typical goddamn liberal, man. Jesus Christ, where the hell am I at for Christ? We got Remington in the place. What's going on? We got Jerry Garcia. What's going on at Jerry Garcia? We got Lifehouse in the house. Jerry Garcia, you know, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I remember it was, what was it? Was it New Year's Eve 1985? Uh, I, as I stated, man, I had to... I, I, I always got the best of the best, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I was a capitalist, always been a capitalist. And, uh, you know, I didn't want, you know, you, you know how it is. When you're a capitalist, you want the best. At the time, uh, cable TV was just starting to be rolled out. All right? And I was like, well, I won't get cable TV. That sounds cool. Then they had pay-per-view. And uh, pay-per-view was, uh, I mean, they just barely rolled this out. I mean, it was just freaking huge boxes. And you had the freaking... Uh, the box on top of the box with the three dots on it, with the three lights on it. You could push order and, and all this crap. Anyway, I remember, I believe it was uh, the uh, New Year's Eve 1985, I ordered Jerry Garcia and the Grateful Dead's uh, New Year's Eve pay-per-view special. All right, just FYI, I remember that. I remember that. Anyway, uh, just a tidbit there. Anyway, we got Goose in the house. We got Jizzmaster 3000. We got Southern AU in the place. Jimmy Capitalist in the house. What's going on? Jimmy Capitalist. Who else do we have here? We got uh, we got Sergeant Yoda. Uh, we've got, what the hell is, I'm not going to say that disgusting name for Christ's sake. Oh. God, you guys are getting sick. I can already see this, for Christ's sake. Don't turn this into a carpet-munching Monday, man. You know, let me tell you, this is the day where Donald Trump is now the official president of the United States of America. Don't ruin it! Hey, we got Christopher Smith in the house. How you doing, man? Uh, Artron Havoc. Uh, we got Epic Voice Brony. 
Uh, we got uh, Fit Start Podcast. All right. Well, I guess somebody having a podcast uh, about fitness. We got Disco Waffle in the house, or Disco Atkins. What the hell? Uh, y'all getting married or something? A little pony marriage? And, you know, wait, wait a minute. I actually read an article, I believe it was in, uh, what the hell, freaking, you know, I, I read so much, man, I can't even, can't even remember the article where I read it. I read it today, the top 100 podcast of 2016, not one time was this podcast ever mentioned. And let me tell you something, I, I get no respect, no goddamn respect, man. But you know what? I don't need respect from international media. I don't need respect from any kind of rag publications. You know what I have respect? You know, you know who I want respect from? You. All right? The true capitalist radio listener, the fans, the inner circle. You know? I mean, that's what it's all about, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. I'm not like, Keem Star and all those jerk asses at YouTube. And, and for you folks that saw that tweet that I tweeted at Keemstar, I'm just, I just don't like YouTubers, man. These guys think that they're the greatest thing since sliced bread, and now they realize that, you know, everybody can kind of do what they're doing and maybe do it a slight bit better or a slight variant different or something in that capacity, and now they're losing their viewership, all right? And now what they're trying to do is they're trying to give away money so that they can, you know, uh, increase their viewership, for Christ's sake, I mean, what a, what a bunch of jokes, all right? Hey, Keemstar, Rice Gum, uh, Fousey Tube, uh, all you jerk asses, get some talent, all right? All right, get some goddamn talent. Learn how to spoken instead of sound like fruity asses. How come everybody on YouTube sounds like they just freaking popped out of the anal passage of George Michael servicing a glory hole in a park bathroom somewhere? Can somebody explain that to me? I mean, even k- 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 Team Star, for Christ's sake. I mean, can you get a fruitier voice other than maybe Leafy? Huh? Hi, this is Killer Team Star here, and I'm here talking about drama. Uh, don't make me pull off my cap so I can show off my balding head, because I'm Team Star. I've got more facial hair than I've got on my head because I'm k k k k k k k I mean, what a fruity bastard. Anyway, listen, I'm sorry for... I just don't... I don't like... I don't like YouTube stars. I'm sorry. I don't like them. All right? A bunch of self-absorbed jerk asses that any, anybody could do it, folks. That's why I'm encouraging you to do it. I mean, it's easy. All, the, all you got to do, folks, is first and foremost is have decent content. I mean, you know, do something that's going to make people want to watch and then continue to do it. But at the same time, you notice that that kind of content, uh, it's finite. It's finite content because, you know, you see it once, you see it a thousand times. You see, you want true talent, you need to be a, a radio host and be able to keep people's attention, keep people interested for hours on end. Instead of sitting here doing a 15-minute video and thinking that you're hot crap. Anyway, sorry, folks. I, I don't like YouTubers. I'm sorry. Anyway, we got sauerkraut in the house. What's going on? We got Scarlett Atkins. What the hell? Is everybody marrying tweet? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to Scarlett Moo. We got Norwegian Hambone. Ghost makes money easy. Well, you know, that's what I do, baby. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't make money easy, I, I don't know how I'd survive, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, there was, a, there was a Twitter trend that stated uh, white lies on my resume. It was uh, hashtag white lies on my resume. And I put, what's a resume, baby? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've been, I, I've been a self-made man my whole life, baby. <laughs> Woo! I'm telling you, man. I, lo- I love life. I-, I love kicking life's ass. I'll tell you that right damn now. All right, don't get me wrong. I get obstacles in life, baby. You understand? I mean, that's what life's is. That's that's what life's about is obstacles. But you see, unlike you, um, uh, you self-esteem fed uh, pansy asses, I expect the world to screw me. And when you go in with the world expecting to screw you and then you conquer that screwing, then all of a sudden you're kicking freaking life's ass. And that's what I'm doing. That's what I've been doing my whole goddamn life. I've been kicking life's ass. 
I mean, it doesn't matter what the obstacle, baby. It doesn't matter what it brings. I mean, I'm going to kick life's ass. Anyway, sorry, folks. We got uh, Supa in the place. What's going on? We got the trans, the trans toilet asshole putting a pair of balls on the toilet. Uh, keep on trucking Berlin. Oh, geez. man, come on, man. Come on. Keep on trucking freaking Berlin. Shut up, man. People are sick. What's going on to War 24? Anyway, we are now in the second hour of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast. And, of course, I am your host, the man they call Ghost. And once again, folks, I want to thank everybody for tuning in with me. Uh, before we get started, I'd like for everybody to please spread it around like wildfire and let everybody know that True Capitalist Radio is in effect and in the house. And we are live every Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, right here on the official website of the True Capitalist Radio Broadcast. And, of course, it is blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. That's blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. And if you have not done so, folks, please follow me on Twitter, boy. The Twitter name to follow is Politics Ghost. All one word, no underscores. Politics Ghost. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, folks. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a couple more of these Twitter shout outs, and then we're going to get to the crux of the broadcast. We've got a lot of things to talk about. Uh, we're going to talk about the assassination of the Russian uh, ambassador to Turkey, uh, some foreign minister that just recently got sniped in Russia. Uh, a lot of things happening all over the world, folks. Putin is claiming that NATO is involved. So we're going to get to that here in the second hour, and I want to hear what you have to say about it. Uh, could this be World War III? Could this be the precursor that yours truly has been talking about that is going to enable this disgusting, despicable totalitarian government to suspend the Constitution and implement totalitarianism under the pretext of some goddamn nuclear confrontation with Russia? Good God, man. I, I just... Anyway, we got old St. Nicholas. All right, whatever the hell that means. We've got uh, Fluffy Atkins. What the hell? What the hell is this crap? What the hell is this garbage, man? Anyway, let me continue going here. We got uh, now. There's Tweely Atkins. Okay, great. Jesus Christ. Uh, we've got Kebab One Vodka Zero. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Kebab one, vodka zero. That's horrible, man. I don't even like Russians, and that's horrible, man. And then there's correct the record again, for Christ's sake. Oh, that's great. We got the Brony Network in the house. How you doing, man? Uh, We've got Alberto uh, Garcia. What's going on, man? Uh, Pokemon merch win. I'm not, no, we're not doing that crap. Screw that crap. Uh, We got... uh, Cruising through markets. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can you all shut up with that crap already? Good God. That's not funny. Shut up. Seriously, man. It's horrible. You, you. Uh, I'm just going to take a couple more of these. You keep up with this crap, I'll stop it right away like like that. All right? Like that. Jesus Christ, man. We've got Mrs. Trans Ghost. Shove it up your ass, boy. You're lucky we're not in a damn bar room, boy. You understand that? Germany Truck Santa. Turkish Splatter Art. Oh, Jesus Christ. You shit! Jesus Christ! Uh, you know what? I'm not doing this crazy. Now, that's how y'all really feel, man. Y'all are sick, man. Y'all are some sick cookies. I'll tell you that right now, man. I don't know what the hell's wrong with you people. You got some serious freaking problems. Look, that's it. I'm not taking any more Twitter shout-outs. You people are making me sick. I can't believe that you could be this harsh for Christ's sake. You're going to be this harsh. Give me that freaking mic. Get a mic. Give me that freaking mic for Christ's sake. Oh, my 
God, man. I, listen, I, I, I'm, I'm moving on. I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to sit here. What's going on to Squid Girl? All right? Anyway, uh, and, and Raiden Snake, what's going on, man? Uh, anyway, that's enough. All right, that's enough. Oh, what, am I lagging again? APC227, what's going on? Am I lagging again? Are they are they trying to do something to my freaking broadcast again, for Christ's sake? Good God. Anyway, let's continue going here. What's going on to the stilling capitalist? Anyway, let me move on to the broadcast. Let me get a drink after that ridiculous Twitter shout-out. Get a drink here quick. 